Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. We continue to unpack that address by the president yesterday. And uh, uh, one of the areas uh, that were very important was the allocation of monies to municipalities. Let's now talk uh, to Mr. Chen Tseng. He's a specialist at the Financial Fiscal Commission. Now, the Financial Fiscal Commission uh, was set up to make recommendations to parliament, provincial legislatures, and organized local government and other organs of state on financial and fiscal matters as envisaged in the Constitution and other national legislation. Let's welcome you to our conversation, Mr. Tseng. Uh, your overall impressions about the delivery yesterday by the President? Yes, uh, I thought so. the delivery by, yes, uh, by the President yesterday was uh, substantive, uh, just targeted and uh, well-planned. Um, specifically around the 500 billion social relief and economic support grant uh, or package, uh, which is divided, divided into four parts, particularly around health uh, and the relief to, uh, for hunger and social distress, supports for companies and workers, and uh, even considering the, uh, the reopening of the economy. And each of those parts um, has specific uh, shall we say line uh, line item financial supports uh, uh, deliberate, uh, deliberately placed put in place uh, to to speak to those uh, objectives um, uh, so I, I thought it was a uh, very well planned uh, the implementation part of it obviously will take uh, the continuous and uh, heightened vigilance around uh, the the dissemination the transfer the uh, and, and to ensure that there aren't any physical leakages uh, that at South Africa we have been struggling even before the time. Um, but facing this crisis, the way that, uh, that, that how this, this uh, sort of uh, impact on us and how quickly it, it came about, uh, I thought it was a, a very well thought out plan. So he announced 500 billion rand, uh, of which he said 130 billion uh, will be taken from the reprioritization of, of activities within the current budget, and the rest of it uh, will be funding from different institutions. Uh, if you were to get the chance to advise the president on how to go about securing this funding, uh, wh how, how, what would you say? Um, I think, as with most uh, or all uh, financial or fiscal, uh, shall we say, negotiation or bargaining uh, that takes place, uh, honesty is the best way to approach this. Um, let's be honest about what it means for the financial and fiscal sector, what it means for the economy uh, domestically as well as globally. This is something that impacts. Uh, all of the economies, right, uh, from the U.S. to Germany to uh, U.K. and, and uh, many of the European, and as well as developing countries around the world. So, uh, so, so, and and we've seen the numbers uh, coming out, obviously, from China and 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 some of the other economies. Um, let's be honest: uh, what kind of crisis, the global crisis that we're facing? Um, uh, and 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 to uh, sort of negotiate in terms of the the rates, uh, because as with most all financial instruments, it comes with a, a cost, um, and uh, and there is also there is an added consideration that needs to be in place um, to talk about uh, honestly uh, and directly, uh, straightforwardly the rates. Um, the the and the interest rate margins on these loans and in uh, direct injections, uh, if you like. Um, so that that's how I, I would suggest. And just uh, just don't be uh, scared to point point out some of the pitfalls um, in, in in some of these uh, in, in the, some of these uh, financial injections. Um, so, for example. Um, there is a, a, um, a, a serious uh, consideration that, that needs to think about when we say financial or what is we, we call it in economics nominal injections versus real injection. Um, so that means basically that yes, we can release a, a lot of money 
Um, but at the same time, it's what it's done to the real economy, the activities of the economy. Um, and, uh, and this obviously has to do with uh, what this 500 billion will do, uh, not just in terms of the money figure, but also in terms of people's behavior. Uh, if people can't go outside, can't trade, can't, can't go to school and, and receive services or get services, um, then, then you know, money is still just money at the end of the day. Um, it, it's, it's just paper. So, so it's those conversations it's very difficult, um, and and it's but it's time to get real and just talk directly to how much is it going to cost it, how we're going to do it, how we're going to fund it, and how we're going to spend it effectively, efficiently, and without leakages. So the Financial and Fiscal uh, uh, Commission has previously released reports on activities within the local government space, in this case municipalities. What are your thoughts about the 20 billion that's been allocated to the space and it, it, are, you, are you confident it, it, it will reach the intended beneficiaries? Um, I, I think as with most uh, all uh, government implementation, I think uh, a constant vigilance and even a heightened vigilance. I mean, if we look at the uh, local government's Auditor uh, General's reports, um, there are lots of irregularities, errors um, uh, may, being made in uh, municipalities, in the local munis uh, municipal sphere, um, notwithstanding um, Notwithstanding some of the interferences, um, especially around a procurement, um, so so in that space, um, uh, it, it's it's really about that monitoring and evaluation and that constant vigilance uh, and 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 to to and to do constant measuring of um, of when you put down this uh, tranche of money. What do I get out from the other side in terms of output to outcome? Um, that direct measure uh, is quite lacking in the sphere, and not just local municipal sphere, but also at the provincial level. Um, so, so, uh, and why is that? Why? Why? Why we? Uh, why have we been struggling with it? Um, part of it is to do with uh, capacity. Um, and 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 the way that uh, some of these local municipalities just don't have the um, some some of the capabilities, uh, personnel um, perhaps, but but at the end of the day, it's about how what people do. Um, uh, so so yes, this injection uh, it, um, the nail in the coffin is this is that yes, 20 billion, but. What do we get out? It's the same it goes for anything else that we do really with money, right? Uh, 20 billion to the healthcare um, or health treatment, equipment for health uh, workers, community screening, more testing and so on. Um, yeah, it's how many beds do we get? How many ventilators do we get? Uh, medicine staffing with the 20 billion. Um, and that thing is something that, that to do it properly, to implement it properly, it's always about monitoring and evaluation. So the municipality injection uh, uh, funding is, is going towards things like water supply and sanitation, public transport, food and shelter for the homeless. Uh, how do we separate providing for uh, uh, requirements for the COVID-19 outbreak and your usual run-of-the-mill municipal requirements. Yeah, so um, this is to do um, to to broaden this uh, this this uh, topic. Is actually uh, with COVID nineteen, uh, nature of it. It's really it's is we really have to recognize that it's an infectious uh, disease, meaning that. Um, the screening, testing, and the quarantine of this disease is of paramount importance. Um, and it, it actually means that if we don't have that down, the tracking, testing, and so on, um, reopening the economy will always it will means uh, will always put us at risk of in a second wave or. Uh, another explosion or, or a explosion and that's why we talk about the exponential curve right uh, after the initial uh, uh, tapering 
that we are seeing now, thanks to our early intervention. Um, but it, it, to separate things, it's always first that identification, right? So, so in terms of municipal uh, services and 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 if I, I, I dare say even about the topic about reopening the economy, how to open the economy. Um, uh, and, and to address all the other uh, negative, uh, substantive negative uh, uh, devastation on the, our economy, uh, all the sacrifices we make, to obviously to flatten the curve, to uh, save lives, basically, um, all hinges on whether we can do the screening, the testing, uh, to identify these patients, uh, those who are the, the disease. And then to quarantine, to treat, to save lives uh, there. Um, I, mean, I think the the, the worst uh, scenario. I'm sorry to move on, uh, but uh, to the uh, opening of the economy is a question: Is that if if we don't have uh, a well placed, a really uh, like like uh, what the Germans have done um, to test, track, quarantine, and isolate? Um, and and basically keep the street. I mean, sorry, keep the the disease disease off the streets. Yeah, um, the streets can't be open. All right, we have to wrap up our conversation. But just a quick one: How's the uh, FFC uh, in, uh, interacting with government in the fight against COVID nineteen? Yeah, so we're having in conversation uh, and always obviously thinking about what does this mean? Uh, the COVID nineteen mean uh, for on uh, uh, for the macroeconomic and the fiscal framework um how it has it impacted on the budget specifically um so in the division of revenue uh, how the money will be split and reprioritized is the key and reorganized uh, uh within the states and also obviously also externally uh, uh, from if we are getting um uh, foreign support um the 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 thing, and that has to do a lot with uh, our modeling and uh, that we are currently running um, to see what the debt situation would look like, what the fiscal situation would look like, what the uh, sustainability risks uh, and the financial risks involved in this. Um, uh, so 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 we're we're looking at this uh, from a data evidence based. Um, because faced with any crisis, the first thing is we have to remain calm and think about things rationally and then and see what we are dealing with uh, here uh, before we act or, uh, or around, uh, rather rationally uh, uh, forbid. Jensen, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Thank Jensen you very much. Jensen is uh, with the Financial Fiscal Commission. Let's take a